This video shows you how to integrate the user testing SDK with your iOS application in just three easy steps. First, you'll drag in the SDK. Then, you'll set up the background capabilities. Next, you'll set up the URL scheme that's used by the user testing app to communicate with your SDK equipped application. We'll show you how to easily verify that everything is set up correctly. And finally, we'll show you how to update the SDK when a new version is published. You should have already downloaded and unzipped the SDK from the usertesting.com slash SDK URL. Open up your application in Xcode. Select your project in the Project Navigator and select your main target from the list of targets. Click on the General tab and scroll down to the section called Embedded Binaries. Open it up if it's collapsed. Now open up the SDK folder in the Finder and drag the file UserTestingSDK.Framework to the Embedded Binaries section. When prompted, make sure the Copy Items If Needed checkbox is selected. Note, the framework will also be automatically added to the Linked Frameworks and Libraries section. The User Testing SDK won't interfere with any of the frameworks and libraries you already use. In Step 2, we make sure your application can run in the background. Back in Xcode, select the Capabilities tab. Click to expand the Background Mode section. Toggle the background modes on if it's not already on, and then check Audio and AirPlay. In this final step, we'll set up the URL schemes. Still in Xcode, we select the Info tab. Click on the Disclosure button for the URL types, and click on the Plus button. In the Identifier field, type com.usertesting.utstarttest. This is the name of the URL scheme. In the URL schemes field, add user testing dash and your app's name. If your app, in this case, Zakira, we type user testing dash Zakira. We use the app name here so the URL scheme can be unique. You can use anything you want as long as it doesn't match any other URL scheme already on the device. That's really all there is to it. The next step is to verify that we've done it correctly. This is really simple. Just run your app in the simulator. If everything is correct, you should see a screen telling you all is well. If you did not do step 2 or 3 correctly, you'll see a message telling you what to fix. If you didn't do step 1 correctly, your app will run as it normally runs in the simulator. User testing will update the SDK periodically, and you'll want to replace the version you integrate with a new version. Xcode won't let you copy a new version in very easily, so here's what you do. In Xcode, select the user testing SDK dot framework in your project view. Delete it. Xcode will ask you if you want to remove references or move it to the trash. Choose move it to the trash. Now you can drag your new version back into the Embedded Binary section, just like we did in Step 1. One final note. You can't ship your app with the SDK embedded. The App Store won't accept it. Just remove it, as we just showed you. Thank you for your time and good luck.